there is a compulsive liar around you, okay? Somebody that they always bend the truth. Everything that comes out of their mouth is questioned um, because this person has a reputation of lying. They have a history of lying. They have a history of being dishonest, right? And this is somebody that they have never been called out. They have never taken accountability. They have spent majority of their life lying and getting away with their lives. And this person, they are also somebody that they play the victim card a lot. So if you don't believe their lies, their backup is the victim card, okay? You will notice that if you're not really playing into their story and it's not just you, anyone, right? If you're not feeding into their lies and playing into their story, then they're going to start to act. I just saying one, one, one. They're going to start to act sick or like something's wrong. This person may actually fall over in front of you or they may like hurt themselves in front of you. Um, it feels like that this person, they either are lying or they're playing the victim, right? And this is something that has worked for this person because they have been around people that enable this behavior. They have been around people that, whether they really believe them or not, nobody ever called them out. And... I mean, it's dangerous because this person, like, they actually believe that they can lie and they can just, you know, tell little lies and just mean two, one, two. And they believe that they can play the victim or they can act like they're sick or something to kind of manipulate people. I just mean two, two, two. To manipulate people into trusting them and believing them and believing their lies and their story. And again, this is somebody that's going to lie for no reason. And again, it's always been this way for this person. Now, this is somebody that all of their little lies and little stories that they have told are coming up. Okay, and it's all happening at once. Um, it's like their lives are coming back to bite them. People are seeing through them. They are getting caught. They are getting called out for their lives. I just seen 313. So, this is somebody that... At the moment, they're alone. People have walked away from this person. People don't really want to hang around this person. Um, people don't believe this person. And unfortunately, they are alone at the moment. But again, they have done this to themselves. And this is karma, okay? This person... So, again, them lying and playing the victim and making up stories, um, that caused a lot of conflict, especially with other people. Their lies have caused serious conflict with other people. Um, it got other people in trouble. So, whoever this is, they have done something and somebody else got in trouble for it. And again, it's because they lied about it. Okay? But now... This is coming back to bite this person. 
listening to somebody that they are going through this karma for the compulsive life. Now, this person, they are unaware of the pain that lions cause, okay? Because people their whole life have enabled this behaviour. Nobody's ever told them, like, hey, lying is wrong and lying can hurt people. No one's ever told them that. This person, um, they didn't have a father figure in their life, okay? With the emperor reversed, they did not have proper, just people teaching them proper lessons, okay, they didn't have a father figure, whoever this is, so again, this person, um, this is somebody that you called out, they have never been called out before, but you were the one to call them out, and you were the one to cut their lines down. And this person, they couldn't lie to you. Right? Now, for a while there, though, they were trying. But you are somebody that you can't be lied to. You're very intuitive. Okay? Guys, I have a new camera and the focus is a little bit weird. Um, So, sorry about that. But this is somebody that's never been called out and never had to take accountability, but you called them out. And now they have to take accountability. They cannot lie to you. You are not feeding into this, okay? Whoever this person is, um, the people around them really have fed into you know, allowing this person to lie and allowing this person to play the victim, feeding into this person's game. Everyone around them, except for you. There's Aries energy here, there's Leo energy. Yet yeah, this person, they don't know what to do. Um, I'm getting a very strong message here. Be careful calling this person out. If you're going to call them out, please be careful doing it in person. I just need 808. There's a message here that if you try to call this person out on their bullshit, this person may get violent, okay? And that's not for everyone, but that is for somebody. So you have to be very strategic with this person because, see, if you hurt this person's ego, this person is very unpredictable and they also seem to, there's a lot of anger surrounding this person. If things don't go their way, they tend to get violent or they get, like, abusive or angry, right? So please be careful on how you call this person out because, yeah, they could get violent. They do have a history of being violent. I just seen 9-11, okay? So that's definitely a warning sign. If one thing is for sure, if you haven't already got away from this person, you need to get away from them, right? Now, this is somebody, this is a very specific message. It's not going to resonate for everyone. But whoever I'm picking up on, you know that you're dealing with a compulsive liar. And they lie to everyone. But the thing is, this person... Remember how I said that um, 
people enable them to lie and like people don't call them out well people don't call them out on their anger either and this is somebody that is very violent okay if things don't go their way they completely change like they switch up it's like you're literally dealing with the devil right if things do not go this person's way so please remember you need to kind of i feel like whoever i'm picking up on like you're already walking on eggshells but you kind of have to because they are unpredictable especially if things don't go their way like they're so unpredictable yeah so I don't know, just watch your words, okay? It's actually best not to say anything face to face. If you're going to say anything to this person, you need to be away from them, okay? Make sure it's over the phone and they cannot get to you. If you live with them, forget about it. Forget about it, okay? And again, if you live with them, um, You may need to find a way to, like, you know, get away from them in... If you feel like you're walking on eggshells, okay, and if you feel like this is resonating and this person kind of violent, trust me when I say if you're trying to get away from them, you need to do it in a very private way, okay? Do not announce it. Because this person will get violent and they will try to stop you. Do not announce it. Just go when you can. Right? But the problem is here is there is literally somebody, I just seen 12 12, there's somebody that bats their lives, okay? I don't know who this person is, but it is a family member for them. This person backs their lies up. You may notice that when this person is lying to you, they're going to call this person or they're going to ask this person. Right? So, for example, say that you catch this person in a lie. They're going to be like, oh yeah, well... I'm going to call this person, okay, the family member, and they're going to tell you otherwise. And they may call the family member, and the family member will lie for them. Even if they don't know the lie, they're going to lie for them. Okay, so you need to understand that it's not just this person lying, I just seen 13, 13, but it's also the other person that's backing them up. And you may even feel crazy because you literally have two people here lying to you all while your intuition is telling you the truth. Now, here's the thing too. This person, they have ruined their reputation. They have completely ruined it. Nobody trusts this person because they lie time and time again to everyone. Okay? Okay. This person lies to make themselves look better, okay? But the thing is, they just have ruined their reputation. So everything that they say, even if they want to turn a new leaf, this type of reputation, the compulsive lying, it's very hard to turn a new leaf because people know you as a liar. People have witnessed you as somebody that you don't stay true to your word, okay? So even if this person were trying to, like, turn a new leaf, it wouldn't work because they've ruined their reputation. Like, this person would probably have to, like, move countries, right? Or, like, move cities or something. Because all of their friends, all of their family members know them as liars, right? As a liar, sorry. So, right now, everything is crashing down. 
their tactics are not working on people because people can see through it and people if i'm being real people are over it people are over it now this is one of the people you know one of these people that it can become very overbearing to be around okay because they expect everyone to just listen to their lives and to just literally, you know, believe their lives to make them look better. But that's not even helping this person. And right now this person is alone. Like, people don't want to be around somebody that they cannot trust in any type of connection like if if you cannot trust somebody you don't want them around you you don't want them in your house you know like you just cannot trust what they're going to say and this person had ruined their reputation they have taken everyone that loved them for granted And then, like, if you don't believe their lines and, you know, their victim card doesn't work, they become violent. The way, This person's ego is so undamaged that it's scary. Like, I don't know who raised this person, but they definitely just didn't parent them. Instead of parenting them, they just, it feels like they just allowed them to do what they wanted, allowed them to lie, you know, fed into their story. I don't know who this person is for you, it's going to be different for everyone. But this is somebody that they have ruined connections, they've ruined opportunities, they've burnt bridges, um, they've ruined their reputation. I mean, I don't know what to say, like nobody trusts this person. Even people that love this person do not trust this person. Their reputation is completely ruined. Nobody relies on this person. Nobody can rely on them. Nobody can trust them. This is somebody that has caused, again, a lot of issues with people and a lot of people have had to heal because of this person. And now they're just going through this energy where, like, nobody believes them. And lies that they've told are coming back to bite them, right? And they have ruined their reputation. And this person may not have anyone left. Like, their friend may have left them. You've left their life, okay? You've called them out and you've left their life and you have made it very clear that you're not going to feed into this. Um, and when you made that decision, it almost feels like a domino effect. Like it feels like a series of events happened where people just do not trust this person anymore. And again, that's their karma. So that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.